Jed here to demonstrate how to schedule virtual events with GoToWebinar. A virtual event is an event, such as a conference, which happens on the web rather than in a physical location. They can span over a couple of days with multiple webinar sessions per day or consist of multiple sessions being held on a single day. To schedule a virtual event, sign in to GoToWebinar at this site. I've already signed in as the user Lance Bingham and this is the homepage. Click the Schedule button. This is where you provide overview details about the new event. Start by entering the event title. Select Virtual Event as the event type. Begin by selecting the start date and event times. If your event spans more than one day, click Multiple Days and enter the end date and time. Verify that the correct time zone is shown here, or change it if needed. Be sure to click Schedule when you're done. You've successfully scheduled the event. You can now customize the event on the Event Details page. Here is where you can see the current list of organizers for the event. Click that. Just because someone is the organizer of the event, it does not mean that they will be one of the speakers. If they will be speaking, however, be sure to click this box. You can add more information about the speaker including a photo, social profile, and more. This will be shown to webinar attendees on the registration page. From this window, you can also add co-organizers who can help you set up and run your virtual event. They must be part of your organization's account. Those outside of your organization can be added as panelists. Currently, Lance is listed as the only organizer. If you want to add other organizers from your organization, search for them here. Like a moment ago, you can indicate if they are a speaker, and then include additional information. Click the Done button once you're finished. If you'd like to include company information related to your speakers, including social media information, that can be added here. Here is where you can see your current settings regarding webinars being recorded once they begin. Click the Change Settings button if you want to select a different setting. Let's talk about the registration section of this page. Here is where you can customize what people will see and read when they register for the event. By default, when people register for the event, they will be asked for their first and last name and email address. If you want to ask for additional information, click the Registration Questions section to add that. We talked about panelists a moment ago. They are people who will be speaking at your event, but are not one of the go-to users on your account. Here you can add the information for them, and even add multiple panelists if needed. Be sure to click the Done button once you're finished. From the Agenda and Sessions section, we can plan the events for each day regarding live and recorded sessions. Select the desired date from this row if your event covers multiple days. Click the New Live Session button. You can now add the session details, including the title, date, start and end time, and the description. Now, select your speaker from the list. If needed, you can also select more speakers if more than one person will be speaking at the session. Here is the section where you can decide if you want to include additional material for attendees during a session. Each link will have options where you can either enter data or upload files. If you want to broadcast a session to larger audiences, click on the appropriate links here for other platforms. You'll then need to add the applicable data like stream keys and stream URLs. Be sure to click Done when you're finished. Now you can see the session you just created. 
If you need to edit it, click the three dots in the top right corner of the box and click Edit. To add additional sessions, ensure that you are on the correct day and click either New Live Session or New Recorded Session. You can add multiple sessions for a single day and can even schedule more than one event for the same time. Please be aware, however, that you must have an additional license and organizer to run parallel or overlapping live sessions. When it comes to sharing registration information about this event, go to this section. Click the Preview Event Info Text. Here's where you can preview the message that will be sent with the registration link. Click the Copy Event Info button if you want to send that information to others. Finally, let's look at the email section. Here you can find templates for the types of messages sent to those who are going to attend or have missed a session. By default, these emails will be sent to the organizers. However, you can change the information in these fields if you'd like that to be different. As one final thing, scroll your screen back to the top and click the preview button. Here is a preview of the virtual event you just created. That's all there is to schedule a virtual event for GoToWebinar.